This is a book review for handloading for competition. If you're getting tired of standard reloading books, uh, maybe they're not deep enough for you, I do recommend this book. This was very, very deep. All right, I learned a lot from it. Uh, took me two months to get through it though, for a reason, and here's why. The sheer number of typos in this book is outrageous, okay? I mean, there were sometimes as many as five spelling errors per page, okay? Really, really bad. Uh, a lot of times I had to go back and reread things because I wasn't even sure what the guy was trying to say because I couldn't understand what he was writing, all right? So, Glenn Zedeker, if you're listening, you need an editor. <laughs> um, but really, I learned a lot from this book. If you're looking for a book that's going to take you, you're reloading to the next level, okay? You want to get into hand loading, okay? There's a difference between reloading and hand loading. This book will get you into hand loading. All right, it has lots of detailed information on every single aspect of brass preparation, brass sorting, brass care, neck turning, bullet sorting, you name it, molly coating, all sorts of things in here that I learned that I, I didn't know anything about before. And a lot of things in it that made things that I had observed from actually shooting and reloading or handling um, that made those things make more sense to me now. Uh, so I did, I'll go back and I'll, I'll read sections of this book for sure. Uh, there were also a lot of paragraphs in this that I X'd out because they were a complete waste of time. And afterwards I was like, I can't believe I wasted my time reading that. <laughs> but no, I, I would still recommend the book to buy. Uh, it's not expensive. And uh, any, any hand loading book, I should say, that you can get your hands on, you ought to put it on your bookshelf. For bench rest shooters, this isn't quite tailored to bench rest shooting. I mean, he mentions it quite a bit. Um, it's in there, you know, but he's mainly targeting across the course shooting. Uh, not necessarily a hunting book uh, for those of you that hand load for hunting. Not quite for you, but I mean, a lot of the same principles will apply for, for bench rest or for hunting, all right? Um, but I like the book and hey, I'll go back and I'll read it again. It's fairly well designed, it's well laid out. It just it needs a lot of editing.